everyone doing a short video here a little bit on biodiesel uh, the reason I'm doing it is because uh, from she to me which is an account I follow a really good account so look down below for links um, was talking about uh, how to buy a camper van 10 steps I'm looking at my monitor while I do this video uh, and she mentioned some things about biodiesel uh, so I thought I'd just do a video on that real quick um, so just give you an idea the definition here uh, biodiesel a fuel comprised of monoalkyl esters of long chain fatty acids derived from vegetable oils or animal fats uh, designated B100 uh, then there's biodiesel blend which is really what the kind of fuel you're going to get uh, most of the time and it's a blend of biodiesel fuel uh, with petroleum based diesel fuel uh, designated BXX where XX represents the volume percentage of biodiesel fuel in the blend. So B05 would be 5%, B20 would be 20%, B100 would be biodiesel, no blend. Um, so, as you'll know, I've kind of been researching different kind of RVs and what we'd want to get. And one of the things you have to decide on is what kind of fuel. Is it going to be gas? Is it going to be diesel? And for the longest time, I was looking at uh, diesel uh, Mercedes, uh, Pleasure Way to be exact, uh, the Ascent, I think it was called. But then I started reading up on diesel in general in the United States, and it's becoming very common to use uh, B20, which is that 20% by a diesel. And I got this from a Sprinter manual, so it's actually from a um, Mercedes Sprinter manual. So it says here, uh, B20 fuels with biodiesel content. Continuous use of fuels with biodiesel content over 5% uh, B20 fuels can lead to fuel filter clogging. Deposits may also form on the fuel injector. This may reduce the engine output. Unburned fuel can get into the oil pan. This causes the engine oil level to rise. This can cause engine mechanical damage. So that's going to be an issue, and I'll explain why in a little bit. Uh, it says here to avoid the damages, avoid the following. Fill up with fuels with biodiesel content of 5% or less. Regularly monitor your engine oil level if you use B20 fuels on a regular basis. And, and that kind of bothers me because now I'm going to go to places uh, to gas stations and I'm going to worry about whether or not the diesel is diesel or not diesel. So that, that's going to be an issue. Uh, I also did some research and there'll be more links below. Problems with biodiesel compatibility uh, when made from oils with high iodine values which are the best for cold weather the fuel runs the risk of I'm um, not going to pronounce this right polymerizing turning into an insoluble plastic-like material. Uh, this is even more likely when it is exposed to high temperatures. Uh, this can cause deposit buildup and result in fewer miles to the gallon. The modern direct injection, injection engine runs on hotter temperatures, higher pressures, and are more likely to have problems with polymerization than indirect injection. So if you get a newer diesel engine, you're going to have more problems. And since we're looking at newer RVs ourselves, that's an issue. It uh, Biodiesel degrades faster than petrodiesel uh, when exposed to water, heat, oxygen, impurities, blah, blah, blah. And this problem is usually a scene, let's see, in vehicles that are not used regularly, such as seasonal vehicles. And we tend to put our... Uh, RV, RV in the winter away. We may not be driving a lot or we may be driving only in winters in the south and rarely in the summers or something like that. So we are going to be putting that RV away for X number of months each year. So that's going to be an issue unless and I guess you could drain the tank but that would be kind of a pain. It is more susceptible to bacteria and algae growth Uh, which can cause fuel injector corrosion or blockage. Pump seizure, seizures. Does not sound good, does it? 
And then I found out on a website uh, from, I guess, the state of Illinois, and they have this list here. Since 2009, the state has required the use of 2% biodiesel blend in all state-owned diesel-powered cars, and B20 biodiesel has become the rule, not the exemption, exception, at pumps around the state. Uh, other states that require a biodiesel blend include Alabama 5%, Colorado 20%, Florida not specified, Kansas 2%, onward, onward, Kentucky, Maryland, Massachusetts 15%, Minnesota B20 to B100, uh, Missouri B20, uh, Nebraska, New Mexico, New York, Ohio, South Carolina, Virginia, and Washington. I counted those number of states, and if you just count the lower 48, that's 33% of the states. And that's a lot. And that's gonna, I'm not going to be running around worrying about whether or not I can fuel up my vehicle. So right now, unless Mercedes changes the way it does things, they're pretty much out of the running. So your mileage may vary. So I uh, just wanted you to know. There you go. The links are down below, like I said. Uh, if anyone knows more than I do, please uh, post some stuff and let us know. And uh, be singing.